in Savannah Thursday is here a couple more days before we head into the weekend. I've got that weekend forecast for you. Beautiful weather coming up for Saturday and Sunday and we'll continue with that theme of severe weather awareness week and today's topic is well, maybe you can tell behind me lightning and uh, boy, I tell you we get a lot of lightning and thunderstorms uh, during the summer months and that's when we typically have them between let's say late June and all the way into uh, August and always remember this is a great rule. I, I kind of break this too in the summertime when out when I'm outside you hear the thunder off in the distance thinking you got plenty of time. Time. That's not so much the case. If you can hear thunder, you can actually get struck by lightning. Sometimes it'll strike over 30 miles away. That has been a uh, proven fact with some storms. So you can have sunny skies and look off in the distance and see that storm, but hear the thunder head inside. And also lightning can reach 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit, and that is hotter than the surface of the sun. That's a pretty uh, cool fact about a uh, lightning live right out this morning. Seeing some light to moderate rain continue to push through. Look at the back edge of this already between Vidalia and Baxley. Seeing it kind of break up so the trend with the rain throughout the remainder of the morning will be ending slowly, especially after 8 o'clock. Zooming in across parts of Chatham County, also Bryan County there along Highway 17 coming out of Chatham County. And you see that Richmond Hill still reporting a little light rain, a sprinkler or two. Also from downtown Savannah all the way out to the islands. It's been raining kind of steady, just that light rain all the way since late yesterday afternoon. And then up into the low country, driving along Highway 278 this morning, bluffed into Hilton Head. Boy, there's a lot of standing water on the road, and just that light rain continues to come down. Need the umbrella this morning, also in Ridgeland and Hardyville. Between there, been having some heavy downpours over the last 30 minutes. But once we go through about probably the next two hours, we're going to see the last of the rain moving off the coast. Have that here in the storm tracker model. Six o'clock, you can see the back edge of the rain. Watch how it begins to break up. Seven o'clock this morning, been less than about an hour from now. And then nine o'clock this morning, cloudy skies but watch how we clear up. So umbrella rain jacket this morning and then by the afternoon after lunchtime, sunshine will be breaking through the clouds at one o'clock all the way through late afternoon, especially late this afternoon. We'll see mostly sunny skies as dry air will be working into the area. Another note too, it'll become breezy too as some colder air filters into our area late afternoon and into the evening. Temperature Savannah 46, 48 for Richmond Hill. Also for Hinesville, Midway, Daring 46 for Alma to Meadow to Stakes. We're kind of uniform temperatures this morning with those low clouds and light rain showers. Here's your hourly forecast as we go all the way through the afternoon and evening, starting out this morning into the 40s, and you can see those rain showers up through probably about 9 o'clock along the coast. Clearing skies right around lunchtime today, and look at this. There's that sunshine, 2 and 3 o'clock, especially late this afternoon by 4. We're going to see lots of clear skies and highs for today. We'll be on the cool side below. Our seasonal averages only upper 50s later today. And I promise you the weekend forecast, if you're making plans for Saturday and Sunday, no problems whatsoever. It'll be a cold start though on Saturday morning, but warming up up to 62 in the afternoon and look at Sunday's forecast. I was talking yesterday, didn't move it up to 70. Well, I did it today, probably warming up very close to 70 break out in the short sleeves, maybe even the shorts. I'm going to tell you, it's going to feel a really nice Sunday afternoon with lots of sunshine around storm tracker seven day forecast. Before we get through that into that nice weather for the weekend, we'll have a chilly day on Friday afternoon. Tomorrow morning's lows, Renee, yeah. will be near 28 degrees, 52 in the afternoon and then very nice weather Saturday and Sunday. So tomorrow will be up a little rough, but then we get to